pretty good. I had the scariest guy I saw in prison teaching yeah. was actually the scrawny little white guy with his blonde, scrawny hair. And I taught there for a couple of years. My father finally asked me to leave because there was this big, big thing happened that became public. And my father asked me, you got to stop, Dennis. But I was part of that. I'm teaching, and, and I, I walk in the class, and it's a new class. There's like 20, 30 guys. Most of them are big, tough guys. There's this one little white guy, scrawny, blonde hair. I look at him, and I make eye contact. He's got this vicious, malignant little grin and these eyes that are just, there's just <coughs> nothing there. Soul, it's just gave me, it just like sent a shiver through me looking at his eyes. I had these impressions of terrible things he had done. I just, I didn't want to be near that guy. Do you want to make contact with him? I was always aware of him where he was in the classroom. If he's over here, I'm teaching the other side of the room. If I see him in the hallway, I go down the other way. I never want to be near this guy. I know he's just stone cold dangerous. And that young man turned out to be <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> it was me. I, I want payback. If you're looking in my eyes. Wow. So, okay. Well, you made it out. Thank God. I'll just tell you what happened with him later. Oh, okay. Real quick. Uh, I didn't want to be around this guy. I was always aware of him. One day I come to teach, and I get there a little bit early. So I walk in the classroom, and it's, and it's empty. I take a couple steps in, and then I see him behind the door sitting in the desk. And I make eye contact. He's got that vicious, malignant grin looking at me, and it's like, oh, man. But I can't walk out. I can't show fear. So I just keep walking in the classroom as far away from the opposite side of the room to my desk. I keep my back to him. He's sitting in the chair in the other corner. I got my back to him, and I'm shuffling papers on the desk, hoping somebody to come in the room, waiting for somebody to come in the room. I'm doing this for like 30 seconds. Nobody comes in the room 40 seconds, so I got to do something. So I walk over to the blackboard. It's a chalkboard. There's nothing written in the board, but a lot of dust. I pick up an eraser. I slowly start walking across the room, erasing the chalkboard. I get over to the other side of the room. I can feel his eyes on my back of my neck. He's sitting in the corner. On your there. neck if you're lucky. Yeah. I look onto the board. Who dropped the eraser? <laughs> I look on the chalkboard. In fingerprint is, what is the upside down? I on the sign of Satan, the sign uh, of the yeah. devil. Yeah, the, the five-pointed star. Yes, it's on the blackboard in fingerprint. It wasn't there when I walked in the room. When I was at my desk, he got up on his finger. He did that on the board with that sign. So I, I see that on the board. Maybe I know he's a Wiccan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I erased that and just kind of ignored him. And fortunately, people came back in, and I didn't uh, try to stay away from him. Wow.